Hello everybody and welcome to another Opium Pulses video. On Thursday the 22nd we went to Eurogamer as you may have heard um, and we've got a couple of videos to show you and there's a few pictures that we've put up onto our website and our Facebook page. We were also tweeting throughout the day and we also had Instagram open where we were posting pictures on that throughout the day as well. But the videos I'm going to be uploading to here. Our first video will show me playing on the Intellivision, uh, playing Asteroids uh, while Warren films me. So here it is. Right, we're at uh, EGX 2016, Birmingham NAC. We're at the retro section, so we don't hang out anywhere else. Lewis is playing motherfucking Asteroids. Whoa! Woo! On Intellivision, eh? That just looks like a VHS, to be honest. Whoa! Oh, mothership! What even is this? Right, oh, Lewis is pro. I love it when the bullets come out the other side of the screen. Oh. Careful, you wanker! It's not easy! I'm gonna leave it here, because Lewis is, Lewis is shit at this. Okay, so the next video you'll see is me and Warren playing the Virtual Boy, and then at the end I try to film a little bit inside the Virtual Boy so you can see what's going on. It's not very easy to do, so you can't quite see what's happening, but it's basically what you see when you look inside the Virtual Boy. Uh, I've never played the Virtual Boy, so I didn't know what it was like. I've heard stories of people feeling very sick, getting really bad headaches, but really, it wasn't that bad of an experience. Maybe if I played it for hours on end, it would have felt really, really bad. But I didn't think it was that bad at all. I had quite fun playing it. Uh, so here's a video of me and Warren playing it. Have fun. Another Opium Bolsters video here, EGX 2016. And we have Lewis playing the Virtual Boy. I'm a, I'm a turtle and I'm playing tennis at the moment. He's a turtle playing tennis. Fucking bring it, mate. I'll knock him out. He's going to Boom. knock them out. Jaguar. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Oh. It's actually really good. I didn't expect this to be so good. I don't know why anybody complains. How immersed does Lewis look right now? Oh, mate. He doesn't even know I'm here. Boom! It's when sound effects weren't part of the game. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I don't know how entertaining this would actually be, so I think, I think I might just leave it here. How was that, Lewis? <laughs> it's pretty good. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Oh. That is actually really cool. It's <laughs> a great idea. The last time we played this. Okay, so the next video is me and Warren playing Bongo Heroes, which was immensely popular last year. Um, we used a slightly different one this year, but um, you can see Warren playing it, and you can just about see me. Sadly, I got the uh, camera angle quite wrong, so you can only see me slightly, but you can see me playing, so uh, have fun. Well, welcome to another Open Impulsive video, and we're playing Bongo Heroes. We don't know how to play, though, so give, give us the Cheers. 
pressing down a drum works, but apparently it does. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, the next one is me playing Terror Tech, which I actually really enjoyed and hope to buy soon after playing it. I had a really good time. I hope you enjoy watching it too. EGX 2016. I've been playing a few indie games, making a few connections, but now we've got Lewis playing Terror Tech. A uh, single player, I want to say strategy, but it doesn't look like strategy. It looks more like an arcade twin stick shooter, maybe. But we're going to find out first hand. He's got his headphones on, so he's taken it seriously. And we haven't done that for the other four games we've played. Lewis, can you stop whizzing about like that? That's, oh, well, you're dead already. All right, off you go. Oh, and you're dead. <laughs> you quit to the main Oh, view. for God's sake. <laughs> Playing this on a, a lounge fire. Shove that on the back. <laughs> down here of course on there and that one on there good I'll put the back wheels on there yeah and uh, pop this one up there I think that's about as good as it's gonna get what's that a gun I'll just pop that at the top I reckon yeah nearly done what's that a drill that goes right on the front and off he goes <laughs> See you later. To explore the world. <laughs> Careful. Oh. oh, maybe that's going to be a new part I can have. Oh, here you go. Oh. Oi, oi, no, no, you're just being attacked by golf well, carts. Wheeling. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that sort of thing before. Oh. Oh, drilling the gold. Yeah, I'm trying to. Well, it's not easy to fucking control. Well, you're thing. making that fairly evident, to be honest. <laughs> you look like a drunk hamster. How do I take this shit? Put it in your butt. <laughs> Good. You irritated a rock. <laughs> I want this. Oh, forget it. See you later. It's not going to get much better than this, guys. Yeah, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, where's your wheel gone, Tony? <laughs> oh, no. Poor Tony. I'll have that, I reckon. Oh, God. Hashtag never forget Tony. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What is this? Don't stick a wheel on your ass. A coil laser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's useful. Well, anyway, what that's the hell have you done? Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> no, that's got to go. That's got to go at the back, I reckon. Why? I don't know. It doesn't look right, does it? 
It looks like something to stop me from falling backwards. I don't even know why he had it. What else is there? Oh, is that another wheel? That's such. You look like a shopping trolley. <laughs> Fuck you, man! I, I ain't got limited resources at the moment. Yeah, you stole it all from Tony. <laughs> Never forget Tony. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! If that becomes a viral fucking tag, I'm gonna be well annoyed. Hashtag never forget. Time to go mining, mate. Yeah, you didn't pick any of it up last time. Wasting your drill. Oh yeah, collect it that way. That's one Little way of doing thief. it. Come here. Who's that? Little thief. Yeah, mate. Yeah, one. <laughs> hashtag thief turns round well slows. <laughs> no, don't make that into a hashtag. Never forget Tony. He ain't got any food. Jesus Christ! He he just, got, he you, the me. moment he exploded, you grabbed one of his things out of the air. <laughs> What's that? Oh. Good. He's now got Sky TV on his back. Oh, look at this shit. Oh, I am becoming a beast. That's a very cool I'm idea, really actually. Did you just shove that off? I don't need it for now. I'll pop it up there. It's a radar. It needs to be up high. You look like a pyramid on wheels. I'm just going to pop these up here for now, just so I can have them later. I think I'm going to stop it here. You've seen enough. I mean, look what he's created. None of you want to see the end result of that. <laughs> Okay, the last video that we recorded at Eurogamer was Turing Test, and I have heavily cut this because it was far too long, but i show you the basics. Um, I really enjoyed this game as well. It's uh, another OPM Pulses video. Got Lewis, who for some reason seems to be the only one playing any games today. He never videos me playing, and he just don't care. But anyway, it's a Turing Test. It's supposed to be a cross between Alien Isolation and Portal. Uh, we did a review for this after the developer sent us a key on Key Mailer, but now... We get to uh, get to do a video live. How did you know what to do there, Lewis? <laughs> I don't know. No, you just shove that box in and move on. <laughs> Seems to have a box, and this time he's not as cocky. Doesn't have a, doesn't really have a fucking clue what to do with it. He's trying to shove it in the ceiling. Trying to, sh trying to chuck it. I mean, he's chucked it through a window, and now, now, he has no idea what to do. He grabbed a marble and put it in the end of his gun. Oh, he's jumped off again. What a twat. Oh well. Looks cold out there, man. Oh, he suddenly got it. As you can see, the puzzles are uh, mildly different to what you'd get in a, in a portal game, since they don't use portals, but it's a similar vein, similar style. It's supposed to have a bit more of an atmosphere, though, but you won't be able to tell that much from this video. There's actually a lot more to this type of game, but Lewis is sort of not really showing any of that. Sort of just fannying around, you know what I mean? Have you got any suggestions? <laughs> You're gonna get yourself killed like that. Oh. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching the Opium Pulses Euro Gamer video. Uh, we're going back there on Sunday, uh, and we hope to produce more content for you to see after then as well.